What's up everybody, welcome back. It's Tuesday, December 15th, and I'm about to go out on my run. But a couple things just came in the mail that I'm really excited about. It's the GoPro Max Mod, which is this right here, which is uh, an ultra wide lens for the GoPro Hero 9, and the Max Grip Tripod Selfie Stick. So really excited about both of these, but we're gonna pop this open and put it on the GoPro right now and use it. <laughs> Now, I don't have a ton of time because I'm on my lunch break, but I did want to run on some trails the first time using this Max lens. So, we're gonna get out here and we're just gonna go. GPS is found, so that's good. It is really cold right now. It's 30 degrees and the wind is kind of blowing pretty good. So I need to keep moving to stay warm. But I'm not gonna be out here very long, so. I didn't really feel like I needed to bring like a jacket much. I'm wearing the Ultra Superiors right now. But I'm really excited about this Max lens. We'll see what it looks like. Finishing up with three and a half miles, <clears throat> 33 minutes. Nothing, nothing crazy to write home about. Just had a limited amount of time today because this Max mod came in. I wanted to get it on the GoPro and test it out a little bit. So that's it, that's all I had time for. And I'm really excited to get back and edit some of this footage because I can already tell that this lens is much wider than the original one that comes on the GoPro Hero 9. So I gotta get home and shower really quick because I have a meeting right after lunch. It's a Zoom call, so I have to be like presentable. Uh, so let's go. All right, welcome back. That was a really good run. I feel like I was able to use uh, pretty much everything I needed to to get a good idea of what this Max Lens Mod does for the GoPro Hero 9. If you're totally unfamiliar with GoPro, that's okay. I've had most of them. Uh, they used to come with this detachable lens cover uh, all the way up until the Hero 8. As you can see here, it was just part of the body. And for whatever reason, they just decided that maybe to save space, to make it smaller, uh, they just weren't gonna include this detachable lens cover anymore. And so that kind of made a lot of people mad, but we were all happy to see that with the Hero 9, 
design, they went back to that model of detachable lens cover. Uh, and something new that they added was this max lens mod. To put it simply, what you can do is detach the original lens cover and put on this new one, this max lens mod is what they call it. And it's pretty hefty, like I'll have to say. The other thing about it is that the plastic lens is now curved. And if you drop it, it's gonna scratch. So they give you this lens cover that you can put on it just like that to protect it. So first impressions of the max lens mod is, it is cool, but there is a little bit of a learning curve. There's some limitations and there's some just weird ways that it works. And so I'm gonna kind of get into that. Uh, first of all, the good things. Uh, the 14 millimeters is really cool. It's wider than the Superview used to be. The Superview used to be 16 millimeters. Having the 14 millimeter wide angle, it's just like you can get a lot more of the background in your shot. Whatever's in the center of your frame is a lot smaller. And for my personal use, you get to see a little bit more of the background, a little bit more of the woods or whatever environment I'm in. So that is really cool. The other thing about having a much wider lens is the stability is much better. The picture actually looks good. A lot of times some of these older ones, when you went to the super view, the picture just didn't look good. The second thing that's really great about having this max lens mod on your GoPro Hero 9 that I wanted to point out was that you have the ability to use horizon leveling on the widest field of view. When you had just this regular lens on and you turned on horizon leveling, it actually cropped it into linear, but the field of view on that is much narrower. And so I have to use this long selfie stick, which I guess it's not really that, that long, uh, but I definitely wouldn't want to carry this around in a race. The one I use in races is this one called a shorty stick, but as you can see, it's not very long at all. Uh, so using the GoPro Hero 9 in linear mode with the horizon leveling on and this, it makes it actually really hard to get a lot of the background in frame. So huge plus being able to use horizon leveling with the widest field of view, the 14 millimeter super view. And what that is, is it's reading the sensors inside the camera and it's telling the camera where the horizon is. And you can actually see it like if I'm moving the camera like left and right, the horizon actually does stay level. But there are some drawbacks to this as well, and this is where I kind of want to get into a few of the negative sides of having this on. The horizon leveling doesn't always work right. <laughs> And I actually ran into this several times and I'll show a couple examples on the screen of it just kind of glitching and not getting the right horizon because sometimes I will take the selfie stick and film like top down, the camera pointed straight down. And in those situations, the horizon leveling just didn't always guess it right. And what I was able to kind of find out from editing is that the field of view that this sees is more of a square than a rectangle. And so it has the ability to flip 90 degrees, 180 degrees whenever it wants. That's another thing, 180 degree flips. That kind of freaked me out when I was editing because you can you hold in the GoPro like this and then you flip it upside down and instantly it actually when you were halfway around, it flipped the image so that by the time you made it down to here, now you were seeing everything right side up again, but the camera was upside down. When this works properly, this is gonna save me a lot of time because when I do flip the camera upside down, I'm not gonna have to in post flip the image 180 degrees anymore. It's just gonna do it for you. The other thing that's a little bit weird is that in order to enable a lot of these settings, you have to turn on the max mod mode. And on first glance, what that does is gets rid of a lot of options that you have with the camera. You are limited to 2.7K and 60 frames per second. That's the max you can do. You're also limited to two lens options, either the 16 millimeter wide or the 14 millimeter max super view. The other weird thing is taking photos with this lens mod on. The normal photo mode works just fine. Like you can still set a three second, five second timer. But a lot of times when I'm running or doing something else active and taking pictures, I put it in the photo time-lapse mode. Well, that setting is just gone. All you have left in the time-lapse section of the settings is the max time warp. And that is something that I rarely use with GoPros. I know a lot of people do, but it's just not something that was in my workflow, not something that I needed. But it's this time-lapse mode that turns into a video. And so you get no images, you just get one video file. So in order to take pictures with this max lens mod on in max mode, 
the only thing you have the option to do is to actually take a single shot. You can get back to the photo time-lapse mode, but you have to get yourself out of max mode. But once we do that, now we can see why there are such limited options with this max lens mod. It's only using a small portion of the sensor. So that's why we can't use 4K, that's why we can't use 5K, that's why we can't take pictures in linear mode. So that's one thing that really surprised me and something that I think is actually a pretty big downside is that when you have this lens mod on, your camera is really limited because it's only using a really small part of the sensor. So, the Max Lens Mod is awesome. If you're using it for a very specific purpose, it's great. It works amazingly. The field of view is great. The lens quality is great. The picture looks good. I'll probably keep this on my GoPro most of the time, but I don't know. If I ever want to shoot in 4K or 5K or if I want to be able to take the photo time lapses, I'm going to have to switch back to this guy, the original lens cap that came on it. So it's gonna be kind of a tough decision because it's not really something you can do super easily when you're out there being active. You're gonna to have to pretty much decide like before you go do whatever activity that you're about to go film or take pictures of. Like I said, for a very specific situation that you wanna go out and film or take pictures of, it's great. But that's it for this video. I'm gonna keep using this Max Lens Mod, letting you guys know what I think. But if you have questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to answer them and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,